Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you Clipped, book number one in the Clipped series by Devin McCormick. Before we start this, I need you to unlock your brain and take everything that you've learned in your lifetime about the Bible, the creation of the world, hell, heaven, angels, demons, and just like flush it away out your body and into the sewer system. Devin has created this wonderful, wonderful world for us. And somebody who grew up in a fundamentalist church lifestyle, I appreciate everything that went into this. The whole creation, retelling of a story that many of us know a certain way, now we get to look into it a whole new light. The first thing that we need to learn and to understand is the creation. The creator created heaven and the earth. And for the most part, humans are created in his likeness. But he is also a very vain individual. Like the seven deadly sins are really just one of those do as I say, not as I do type of things, you know, like typical parent. And the creator values beauty and sexiness over brilliance and mind. Well, he kind of has a lover. His name is Satan. And they have been in this really big relationship for a very long time until Satan kind of calls him out. And of course, the creator is all like, you know what, I'm going to make you this space. And it's called hell. And you can take all of the angels that you want with you. But angels, one thing, once you leave this magnificently wonderful place where I value body over brains, you cannot come back, ever. And this is how we meet Kinzer. He followed the leader down into hell. Kinzer believes that the leader's position is true, the honest one. Well, there's somebody within the demons that's trying to gain full power, that wants to overtake everybody. And so now there is kind of some spy work going on and Kinzer's caught. Him and his lover are caught. And in front of his eyes, his lover is murdered and Kinzer is clipped. His wings are taken, his power stripped. He is nothing more than a mortal, except for one thing. The bodily characteristic that separates the humans from the immortals is the biggest schlong that has ever been schlong. These babies are massive. So before I go on and you're like, oh God, Christina, I really want to read this. If you have an aversion to blood, this would not be for you. And I'm not talking about, yes, I would like my steak rare, please. Not that kind of blood. Not the, oh look, I'm not pregnant and my menstrual cycle has begun. Mm -mm. I'm talking about, I just devastated your asshole and now it's bleeding type of blood, which we all know that Devin likes the natural lube. So I mean like this shouldn't be a shocker to anybody. So back to the story. Kinzer then is taken to this place on earth that is dirty, grimy, sinister, nasty, just ugh, gives me the creeps thinking about it. It's Jerry's place. This is like a sex den for the immoral. Anything and everything that you could possibly want if you're a sadistic asshole is here. Now there's a difference between being sadistic in like BDSM or where there's consent versus being a sadistic asshole where it's I paid for you and you're going to do whatever the hell I want and it doesn't matter if you come out bruised and broken afterwards. Jerry's place is a I don't care if you come out bruised and broken afterwards. And this is where Kinzer meets Kid. Kid has been there for a very long time. He got kicked out of his house for being gay. He's just tried to survive. He lived on the streets for a while until Jerry was so kind to take him in and to show his generosity. And so Kid does everything he possibly can to stay on good standings with Jerry. That way he gets a cot, he's not sleeping on the floor, maybe some meals throughout the day, and generally the good clients. Good. Well, of course, Kenzer, once being an angel, now a demon, looks at all of this and thinks this is pretty bullshit. I don't like it here. But he's got to play by the rules in order to get what he wants. Kid is not very impressed with Kenzer. Regardless though, they have some pretty wicked hot sex in the shower. As Kid's punishment, he's in this room with men that want to do abhorrent things with him. And then somebody rushes in and saves Kid and it's Kenzer and all is well in the world. Except... Really, nothing is. The world is about to be destroyed. Battle, the war between heaven and hell has gotten intense. And the little coup that's about ready to develop and expand and take over everything. 
Us humans have no idea what's going on. Angels and demons alike are dying. Things are coming to a head and it's about to get ugly. So Kinzer, after he saves Kid, decides to tell Kid like everything that's going on. And of course Kid's like, yeah, I totally believe you. Um, excuse me, check please, where's the loony bin? So Kinzer's like, just chill with me for a bit. Let's go find my friends. What I like about this book is that we look in the most unlikely places that I would think that we would look for somebody of this stature. He goes to look for Dreadus and Tracor. The place that he finds them, I was like, interesting. And we leave from that wonderful establishment to a, um, well, a less than shadier establishment. And this is where we meet Maggie, another human, who's pregnant, might be carrying a very important child to all of this, and is chained to an appliance? Hmm. So now we get more details about more of what's going on and we get chemistry. Daedrus and Kenzer used to be lovers. They were together for centuries, millennia, until like the world's biggest misunderstanding has kept them apart. That pissed me off, Devin. And then a battle occurs. And you have to remember we have two mortals, one's pregnant, you have Kenzer who's lost his power, and then two more immortals, and then people show up to take them out. How do they know their secret location? What is going on? Who has blabbed? Who turned in Kinzer to say that he was a spy? There's so much going on. And then in between it, we get more necessary information, more extremely hot sex, more blood, more enormous schlongs to be schlong everywhere. I think Kid is probably one of my favorite characters. I love his dark humor, sarcasm, wit, everything. He is fabulous. I'm interested to see with uh, Bound uh, exactly what's going on with him. Because when we left him, he was not in a very good place. Neither was Tracor. Neither was Kinzer. Definitely not Dreadus. So if you like paranormal, some fantasy, and you want it dark and just grimy, dirty, intense, sinister, there's backstabbing and betrayal and vengeance and revenge and heartbreak and love and lust and just, mmm, the schlongs that I'm gonna have to say that you need to become a fan of the Clipped Saga by Devin McCormick. I have really nothing negative to say about this. I think that it's brilliant that Devin took the story that we're all told like from the day we were born and totally flipped it, reversed it, and made it his own. I applaud you, sir. I am giving Clipped by Devin McCormick five stars. I loved it, everything about it, and lusted a lot. So if you're thinking you're gonna read this and you're like, Christina, there's blood going on with the sex scenes, but holy hell, you will still get those magical O's that you are looking for with this writing. Do not let that stop you. I'm in. I'm like sucked in. I'm ready for Bound, but uh, I'm waiting for Gag to come out later and then I'm going to be like boop boop. It's going to be amazing. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to leave the Amazon link down below. I'm also going to leave my Amazon influencer page where it will be as well. So you can click either one, you'll get it, and you can go and start reading. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm going to ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to get stuff out for you every Sunday through Thursday, but I honestly never know what time. And that is the magic of the subscribe button, is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you're like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave stalker links aplenty. Click, investigate, enjoy. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read or some light editing proofreading you would like done, you can request via website. That will be down below too. Clipped. Book number one in the Clipped Saga by Devin McCormick. I am giving five of the world's longest schlongs to be schlung. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And if you're thinking, Christina, you look uh, a little disheveled. Um, let me tell you why. I might have just finished Owning It by Riley Hart and Devin McCormick. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Now you're like.